guys, we were talking earlier about some of the, fa my, the favorite Boston boxing moments. Um, the very first Boston boxing show, I had Alexis Santos in the main event uh, down in Dorchester at the Dorchester Armory. Wow. But one of my favorites is actually, now that I think of it, was Augusta Morris, a lightweight that I trained, coming off the canvas, uh, exchanging knockdowns with a guy by the name of Johnny Frazier. I, gotta, I just had to get that in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Farley bringing you your Boston it's Boxing It's almost moment. like I've had two careers with Boston <laughs> Boxing, with different groups of fighters, you know? Yeah. Well, I think it would be inappropriate or to not talk about... The Southpaw era? The, oh, the Southpaw <laughs> era. Southpaw era was awesome. Yeah, was I was going to say the soundtrack. You guys are from here. Yeah. Do you come out to shipping up to Boston, or has it been beaten into the ground? Uh, I think I, I'm a little over it, but, I mean, it's a classic. Uh, yeah, I, I tend to lean in the direction of Aaron. It's it, it's uh, it's a classic. Personally, I'm sort of over it as well. But I can tell you guys right now, I'm very familiar with this guy from the gym really? as an amateur. And I knew it was a matter of time to, that, he, to, that he grew into a, he's a heavyweight tonight, but he was a light heavyweight as an amateur. Yeah. I knew it was too. a matter of time before we heard this song tonight. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. For sure, without a doubt. And uh, President Joe Biden, big fan as well, came out in Ireland recently too. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you ever want to hear a great conversation, uh, buy me and Peter Zimbor a beer, and we'll talk about the history of this song. And we fascinating. Have, yeah, but let's get back to, to the fights. Yes, this is a heavyweight fight, but yeah. it's more based off Maddie's opponent. He is a cruiserweight by nature, probably as a professional. He weighed in at 202 pounds. Mm. Um, but his opponent being a heavyweight, you know, this fight fell in the category of a heavyweight fight. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for four rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner to my left. He's sporting black trunks with yellow trim, and he comes to us from Boston, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, Aquila Prouty! And his opponent. Standing directly across the ring, fighting out of the red corner to my right. Wearing white trunks with a shamrock on the waistband. He comes to us from Medford, Massachusetts, and tonight the family fighting condition continues. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm pro debut welcome for Maddie Croonan. Four rounds, heavyweights. Gentlemen, what a crowd Maddie has brought here tonight. You can hear it, I'm sure, on the broadcast for everyone watching around the world. He has packed this place. And oh, we yeah. should mention that he is the son of a former professional fighter. His dad, Dan Cronin, was 9-1 and one with eight KOs and fought in the early 80s, um, uh, which was just a glory period for New England boxing. Yeah, and I think sure. that period has returned. A massive resurgence in the past few years. One of the best scenes in America yeah. is New England, led by Boston Boxing Promotions. Yes, right out of the COVID era, they really, you know, with those Southpaw boxing shows and those closed circuit Put their name shows, on the map. Put yeah. their name on the map. And when nobody else was doing it, Boston Boxing was. Guys, what I remember from seeing from uh, Cronin is he comes forward, he doesn't waste much energy, uh -huh. and when he picks his spots, he punches in, in nice, fun combinations. Yeah. Kind of... A couple years ago, but sort of reminded me of uh, David Benavides, actually. Oh, nice right I hand. think this could be nice a very right short night. It does not look like his opponent is a... Uh, oh! And Ferris' pro debut looks awfully relaxed in there. <laughs> well, he's slugging it out. <laughs> like to see Cronin put that jab out there, though. Good speed Ooh. by Cronin. This is a full... A full-fledged slugfest. I've seen a killer prote before. He tries to come out fast and, and kind of maraud guys, but okay. Cronin's giving him no options at all he to do that. He has a uh, very unorthodox style. I think we're close to a judo takedown. Good. Yeah. Referee comes in, spares us the smash. And he never really has the right trunks that fit on. But. <laughs> yeah, you hear people in the crowd saying for Matt to, to pick his shots, and that's Beautiful what he does well as he Cronin. picks his shots. That's all he's going to do here, and everything will come into place. <laughs> Prote uh, kind of doing a, a, a stiff arm. Yeah, of Prote, uh, you know, throwing it out there. But he's, he's taking some good shots. Wow. Yeah, I'd like was, to see he is Cronin an unorthodox either, puncher. Huh? Yeah, I'd like something. to see Cronin either jab or put a straight right hand to that body. Yeah. It's right there. He needs to slow down a little bit. Um, I think we all know the excitement of a pro debut. It tends to burst yeah. out of you. Yeah, and, uh, Cronin's, you know, really biting on that ooh, parry. Good right I hand. There's the shot I was looking for. I think he for. just needs to stay relaxed, work behind the jab, and start going to the body like that. And nice and, uh, body shots. Yeah. He felt those body shots. Yeah. Sometimes too. these guys with these big guts too. The body's not always the way. Kind of, you know. Yeah. Hook around that head. Oh, oh there you go. 
Gorgeous. Right around that guard. Gorgeous left hook. He's going to work. Good. Oh, beautiful left hook to the body. A, by good, up, a good uppercut would serve him well here. I think there it's going to be over short. He's fighting home that level. Oh. The body. These guys are right on top of us, and he is hitting that body with full force. Yeah. I feel like he's swinging that wild left hook. To Prote's credit, most guys would have been out of there by now. Yeah, no, he's, he is a, he's a fun fighter. I think Cronin really needs to go more for the head attack. I think yeah. uh, I think Akila can absorb those body shots pretty well. I think he might be onto something there because he took some tremendous left hooks yeah. to the body. I think it's just a matter of Prote gassing out. At what I point. remember when John he Gruber fought RJ. I remember when John Gruber oh. fought RJ Hayes. He annihilated the body, didn't go away. Mm. One shot to the head. Oh, that, bo that body that, shot, I think, hurt him. That got his attention. And it wasn't the hottest shot he threw all night, but it was the best placed. And like we talked about earlier, Sean, sometimes in your pro debut, you're just looking for that knockout yeah, so heavy. Right. You, know? you want it so much, yeah. Man, those body shots are beautiful. Just beautiful. I mean, just completely well-timed. From our angle, it sounds like he's working a heavy bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of seems like he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, both men down on oh, a trip. Slip. Oh, Cronin with a little shot. Yeah, Cronin's aggravated. Guys, Prote is going to survive this round. And like we touched on yeah. before, sometimes these MMA guys for these pro debuts, they have an awkward style and yeah. an awkward timing. Another thing that Cronin does have to be worried about is you can punch yourself out. All that excitement, all that buildup, all oh, that adrenaline. Yeah, Cronin is breathing heavy right now. Yeah, we saw that with Lake One tonight. Call it how right well, he down threw the about yeah. 3,000 body shots, so that would kind of wipe you out a little bit. Yeah, especially hitting a target like that. Cronin standing in the corner. Looks like yeah, you're just ready to like get a, back out there. It's a trend tonight, though. A lot of guys are yeah. standing in the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of uh, Ramirez, uh, yeah, Ramirez was. Uh, yeah, was, he, he did he not mention that he round, was going right? to be standing to me. So, and so I'm that's like, what it was. And he's, he's seven feet tall or something like that. Yeah. You know I mean? So trying to give him water is yeah, like, yeah. this may be a better situation yeah, yeah, if yeah. you sit. You yeah, know? And he was relaxed. He looked like a grease guy in there, like, yeah. hanging on the ropes. Yes, yeah. Looked like one of the T-Birds. Guys, I'm a fan of Prote. I can't help it. Any guy that can get hit that much to the gut and smile. I've seen a yeah. killer fight a couple of times, and, uh, yeah. you know, he comes to fight. Sure does. I think Prote needs to bring it upstairs, which is odd because most of the time you say he needs to bring it downstairs. Yeah, you know? I noticed, though, with the heavyweight, sometimes you got guys, I mean, with a guy with a big belly myself, um, sometimes it's a good shock absorber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But getting hit in the equilibrium, you know, can't really, uh, can't really train for that. Oh, Prote landed a shot. And I think that weight discrepancy that you talked about, yeah. Chris, is really, you know, it yeah. plays a part tonight. That is a legitimate heavyweight versus a guy that probably could fight at light heavyweight. Yeah, 100 Whoa, they're on top of back. us. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, came a little short with that right yeah. hand. I think one thing, guys, Cronin and his team will, will learn from this experience is just what you guys are saying. He needs to be a cruiserweight. He yeah. just, yeah. too much size. He's winning the fight, but... Yeah, and you don't, you don't want to get caught up in a clinch with the man with that big. Guy. That exactly just drains right. yeah. you. you There's a difference between power, punching power, and then physical strength, you know? Oh. That was body shot. Ah, that was okay. a five, five, five punch, punch and oh, see, yeah. there, there it is, the right cut. to the head. There it is. That's what's going to take him out. Yeah. There it there is. There he goes. And he will not be getting up. He's taking that yeah. body, but you this can't train that chin. This place has gone wild. Yeah, he's Cronin, not going to Cronin beat the might have the pop of the night. No. Oh, wow. He's he up. beats the he's count. Up. Prote. A show, a my showman words, to a the bitter end, gentlemen. He don't, I don't know if he, I don't know if he I knows don't know he wants it. Oh, yeah. the ref uh, stopped it. The ref stopped it. Good performance by Cronin. Yeah. Good effort while it lasted by yeah, Prote. Absolutely. That was a very unique pro debut. Because yeah. we see that often, gentlemen, and usually after a couple body shots, a guy falls down and the show's over. That guy decided he was going to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. He's got some nabs of steel uh, under that. Re slightly reminiscent of, um, on a much, much lower level, the famous Tyson Fury when everyone thought he was gone. Prote summoned that, summoned that drive to emerge off the canvas, Aaron. Yeah. He's, a he's actually a fun fighter. No, more, yeah. most definitely. I don't know if we got to see a lot from Cronin outside of that he can really place a body shot no, beautiful, you know. And again, if you get, you, you know, you get in there with a light heavyweight and you hit him with a body shot like that, that's probably going to have more of an effect than a big man like that. Without a doubt. Yeah, like you said, cruise away or, you know, if he makes the cut, he could definitely make 175. Yeah. 
But congratulations to him. It's always nice to see a gentleman in their first professional fight come back with a win, you know. Mm -hmm. And he brought so many people, so pe people are excited. Matty Cronin. Nice to see. Uh, and you got to love a generational fighter, somebody that saw, grew up seeing his dad yeah. fight in the ring. You can only you know? imagine how happy Pop is right now. Yeah, yeah. Especially as a father, you know how dangerous it is if he competed like that. You know that your son's getting involved in a sport that is unforgiving, of um, you know, and, and dangerous. And uh, I'm sure a lot of mixed emotions, but a lot of pride, too, when you see yeah. your son following your footsteps. You know? Especially in the heavyweight division, right? Prote bowing to the crowd. Consummate showman right there. Yeah. He's in it. You need guys like this in the sport. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute and 37 seconds of round number two. Your winner via second round TKO in his professional debut, Matty Cronin. He had a great, really great turnout, you know, for a professional debut. There's so oh, yeah. much excitement to a pro debut. You're seeing somebody... Uh, have a night that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. And 100%. I think people want to be part of that. Yeah. And uh, he gave his fans something. Yeah, and that's the first of not one, not two, but three heavyweight, heavyweight bouts tonight. Super awesome.